Well, time to catch up on uh, Project 1080, and uh, we have missed kind of uh, getting into some of the details about the marine electronics and accessories that have gone into the boat. So this episode, we're going to be dedicated to those sponsors that provided some of these high-end electronics and accessories to really bring the bling factor up on Project 1080. So let's begin with the marine electronics and the Garmin GPSs and the ICOM radio. Superior Communications is our sponsor. Just see their logo on our masthead at all of the club events because they provide a lot of the electronics prizes that we give you guys for winning the poker run. So all those Garmin chart plotters uh, over the years and the ICOM radios and the standard radios and the Garmin Verb cameras, those all came from David TV and the group at Superior Communications. Uh, so we want to thank them for continuing in their participation to support us here. So as you can see here, these Garmin 7612s, you couldn't find a better unit for a boat of this size for a cigarette top gun. You can see that we have gone with the flat panels. We did that in an episode quite some time ago. Technographic um, built these flat panels, these carbon fiber panels for us. Remember the old cigarette had a contoured panel and a big giant compass you know, um, enclosure here. So there really wasn't much we could do. Uh, there was no flat panel. So we were able to go to a flat panel and put in this Garmin 7612. And again, over on the other side here, a matching Garmin 7612. Of course, the reason is, is that if I'm driving and Jackie wants to navigate, or if I'm over here and the boys are learning to drive, so they can navigate over here while they're driving and I can play with this one over here, because don't forget, I can bring up all of the engine functions through the Mercury Racing Vessel View 703 and the NEMA signal. I can transfer all of those engine functions uh, to monitor the engines, temperatures, drive positions, everything I need to uh, here on the Garmin. Um, also on this side, you can see that I put in uh, Mercury Racing, I put in the uh, trim and tab control, so a second set of trim and tab controls. So if I'm not comfortable with the way the boat's riding and I'm sitting over here, I can control that. Um, back to the electronics, we also, we needed a radio on the boat, so we went with this ICOM. Uh, now this is a command mic, and the idea is, is that where's the radio? It's concealed. So I have a full-size ICOM radio that's concealed below the dash, below the helm here, and it stays concealed all the time. The antenna is just on the other side. I can pop the antenna up from the helm position while I'm driving the boat, and I have a vertical antenna, so that gives me the range that I need. But this uh, command mic is the way to go because uh, it has all the functions right here. It's got a very loud radio, I can, so I can adjust the channel, I can squelch it, adjust the volume, do whatever I need to do right here from the helm without leaving the helm. Uh, Lavoisi Marine gave us these analog look, these traditional looking gauges, because we wanted to keep that styling, that look on the boat, but they are digital gauges and they do accept the NEMA signal. Therefore, all of the data that's coming from the Mercury Racing Vessel View is controlling these gauges and giving them the data they need uh, to monitor the engine functions. I don't really spend a lot of time looking at the gauges, quite honestly. I look at the vessel view and I look at my Garmin, but they do look good and you can see they cer certainly give the dash that, that really cool looking, um, sort of traditional cigarette look. Uh, back over here now on this side we have the um, Lavorsi trim and tab LED indicators. This is very, very popular to have. I use this a lot, as you can see, because even on the vessel view they have that, but it's quite small. It's not that big, I don't have great eyes. This is easier to see and I've got my controls right here. So these great big LEDs keep me in tune with what's going on with my trim and my tabs on the boat. Now this is another um, uh, Project 1080 sponsor that got involved, Boca Tech switches are right here in Boca Raton. And you see everybody going to these Boca Techs. You can see that they're great. They, they look great, they've got that modern look with the LED ring, the blue ring. A Boca Tech switch has its own built-in breaker. So we took away the entire breaker panel from the cigarette, which was down below here. We've eliminated it completely. And that's why when the guys at Performance Marine Trading ripped all the wiring out of the boat, and we've got that picture of that nasty looking picture of all that spaghetti hanging in underneath the helm, we eliminated a lot of that. Like they told me they had buckets of wire that they literally threw out. So what that did was it gave, the Boca Tech gave us a nice cleaner dash, and it gave us those integrated breakers built right in. So let's thank our sponsors for all their contributions to Project 1080 Superior Communications, Lavorsi Marine, and Boca Tech Switches. Uh, let's go to see uh, Petro now as we join them in Deerfield Beach for our special on Apex Lighting.
Having a promo day here with Project 1080. Uh, Petro Plumas is the owner of Apex Lighting here in Pompano Beach. And uh, we thought we would put the boat on display here mm -hmm. and take advantage of all these thousands of cars going by here That's on right. Powerline Road. And maybe they're going to see Project 1080 and come in and buy some lights. That's the plan, That's right. right? That's the plan anyways, too. <laughs> Petro has been um, wonderful at supplying us as our partner on this Project 1080 with LED lighting. And we're talking about everything, the full gamut. Uh, Petro, we started off by talking about underwater lights, and I said maybe a few lights for the cockpit, and you said, Stu, hold on. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. So we ended up with some LED strip lighting in the cockpit. We had the guys at Performance Marine mount that lighting underneath the bolster seats hidden away. We've got strip lighting in the engine room, so at nighttime when we love to open our engine hatch up and show off the engine with some kind of cool colors, we've got the blue lights there. But let's talk about those bluefin underwater lights. They're really nice lights. I, I've never had this product on any of my boats before, but now that I've seen them perform, they really are great lights. Yep, so the bluefins are made in England, are really, really good lights, and um, we chose to go with two of the P12s, the medium-sized ones, because we didn't have that much room on the transom. So we put two of the P12s in the transom and the color changing. So you can right. pick, Stu can pick any color he wants. Purple, orange, green, and he can make it strobe and cycle. Then underneath the transom, we went with the bigger, the P24s. Right. Those are actually 10,000 lumens each. 10,000 lumens, yeah, that's amazing. Versus the 6,000. And again, those are color changed. They'll match the colors of the smaller ones. Yeah. So all together, when you're running, you can get this rooster tail that just looks orange and purple. Yeah. It, it's going to look like this fire is just chasing you. And it's going to look amazing. Uh, let's talk about the actual uh, installation of the light. It's pretty simple. Uh, you told me earlier we're going to drill a 3 8 inch hole uh, for the wiring. Uh, we're going to mount the light, and how are we going to mount it? It's three screws and... Yeah, so before you get the screws, we're going to make sure you put some 4200 or 5200, yeah. nice speed of, on the back of the light, inside right. the hole where the yeah. cable goes. Right. You mount it to the boat, right. it holds down with three stainless screws. Right. You just tighten down the screws slowly. Always use, don't use the drill the cordless, so do it by hand. Do it you by don't hand. want to over-tighten the light. Yeah. And just let some of the uh, 5200 ooze out slowly, tighten them up again, wait a minute, tighten them out a little bit more, wipe down the 5200, right. and that's all, you know. All, once that 52 cures, the light's not going Anyway. Now when we go back on the inside, let's talk about the wiring and the circuit. Now I've got all the lights on two separate circuits. Okay. That was probably overkill. I don't really need to. They yeah. don't draw a lot. What does each one of those lights draw in amperage? Yeah, so they draw about two and a half to three amps each. So okay. it's really nothing compared so to the old school stuff. I've got uh, two of the lights on, a, I think, a 15 amp circuit. And I've got the other two lights on another 15 amp circuit. Mm -hmm. And of course, the uh, the LED lighting, the strip lighting inside the boat, they draw virtually nothing. Yeah, milliamps. Yeah, yeah, so we've got those all on single circuits as well. We've got the engine room lights on one circuit and the cockpit too. Now, those of course don't give us a lot of light in the cockpit. But just enough. But, but the, um, the hell is due. Mm -hmm. Now the hell is are good. We've got white hell is four of them all together. Yeah. And we're doing what, eight in the cabin, we're I guess? We're gonna do eight of the Hella slim lines inside, and they're just sufficient light. Because, you, again, you don't want too much light in the cockpit, you know, especially when you're underway right. or something. So, this is just perfect enough. Cur they're called courtesy lights for a reason. Yeah. They're just, just enough light for the cockpit. Sure, sure. And those are available in different colors. These are white, but you, you know, people can go with blue or yeah. red or green if they choose to match a theme or something. You just told me a story about how you finished doing Wynn Farnsworth's house in Pompano Beach and that was a major installation. You showed me some of those pictures uh, and you really went over the top. I mean, he's the kind of guy he wants the best of everything. Um, tell us what you did over at his house because you know, you're doing a lot of these household installations, waterfronts as well. Yeah, the dock lighting. Yeah, um, so Wynn came to us and uh, with new house on the coastal. Beautiful house, brand new built, and just wanted to light up the the, uh, the dock. So we lit up the whole dock. You know, we uh, we use a lot of blue lights underneath the dock, and then actually underwater, we I believe we installed nine or ten underwater dock lights um, right. again from Bluefin LED. It came out really, really nice. You've been great to work with. You've got a good staff here too. You've got Hiram, uh, your marketing and media guy, who's uh, always out there posting. Apex Lighting is the uh, Instagram account. They're advertising um, as part of their partnership in the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, so you can find all their contact information there and online, or um, your website is what? Apexlighting.com. Apexlighting.com, there it is. Uh, Petro and his gang, Apex Lighting, thanks for all your help, and uh, look them up, guys, because he's gonna make, he's gonna light up your life. I'm gonna, can I use that? Okay. He's gonna light up your life. What's the other one that we like to use? Oh, you like this? Turn me on. Turn me on, <laughs> that's right, turn me on, okay. All right, thanks again uh, for being a part of this great project.